At this point, there was a sudden stir in the crowd, and every eye was turned in one direction. There was a sharp bend in the road that led from the marketplace to the white man's court and to the stream beyond it. And so, no one had seen the approach of the five court messengers until they had come round the bend, a few paces from the edge of the crowd. The spell was broken by the head messenger. Let me pass, he ordered. What do you want here? The white man, whose power you know too well, has ordered this meeting to stop. In a flash, Okonkwo drew his machet. The messenger crouched to avoid the blow. It was useless. Okonkwo's machet descended twice, and the man's head lay beside his uniform board. Okonkwo stood, looking at the dead man. He knew that Umuofia would not go to war. He knew because they had let the other messengers escape. They had broken into tumult instead of action. He discerned fright in that tumult. He heard voices asking, why did he do it? Why did he do it? He wiped his matchet on the sand and went away. When the district commissioner arrived at Okonkwo's compound, at the head of an armed band of soldiers and court messengers, he found a small crowd of men sitting wearily in the Obi. Which among you is called a Konkwa? He asked through his interpreter. He is not here. We can take you to where he is, and perhaps your men will help us. There was a small bush behind Okonkwa's compound. The only opening into this bush from the compound was a little round hole in the red earth wall 
through which fowls went in and out in their endless search for food. It was into this bush that Obirika led the commissioner and his men. <laughs> 